beautiful day to be working from home. Look at it out there. What do you think? Should I do a project? Get away from me. <laughs> All right. Today we're going to be going and using the Buddy Rhodes glazes. We're going to be taking a look at a nice little project that I've been working on. And uh, let's go outside. Pretty gross and dirty, right? They're garbage cans. So today what we're going to do is we are going to take this unsightly garbage can area and we're going to buddy roads it up. I got a bunch of old pavers that are just pretty standard colors, somewhat pigmented. And we are going to take the Buddy Rhodes glazes. We're going to try some leather, some maple, a bunch of other colors. And we're going to come out with this specific looking antique look. All right, start off by just cleaning some of these out a little bit. Some of these have some real bad flashing on it, like this one here. So this is really what we're trying to get rid of here. Now we're going to go ahead, open these old pavers up with a little bit of muriatic acid, let them dry, and then apply the glazes. So again, nothing real major here. Wearing gloves, glasses, uh, just a tiny bit of muriatic acid in some water. This is gonna really open these pores up so we're going to go ahead and do that to all these, and then what we'll do is just let these dry in the sun, and then we'll start some glazing this afternoon. I'm going to let these dry up now before we jump in to the glazes, followed by some sealer. Okay, continuing along, we are ready to add the glazes. We're going to be focusing a lot on maple, leather. Um, and using some darker colors like black and olive um, to get some different accents. Um, <clears throat> always remember safety. We got my glasses. Um, we got gloves. We got lots of good stuff. So we are ready. So we're going to lock in here and start to glaze throughout the day. Let's glaze on. All right, we're going to start with a nice little base of some maple. Um, get this just a the idea with the glazes is you really want them to seep in to the porosity of any type of concrete you're working with, allow them to basically set in and soak. So for this one, we just want to sort of get a, an understanding of what it's going to look like. So we're just going to go ahead and rub a little bit of this um, maple glaze on here first. And you can see it's sort of just laying on the top. Um, so over time with these glazes, and you can see this is just a this is a simple technique of just wiping it on. Um, throughout the, throughout all these, I'm going to do a couple different techniques. Um, so we'll take that one, and then what we're going to do on this next one is actually add a little bit of black to the base, um, and this will give us some of that antiquing look to begin with. What I like to do here is actually take a sponge, really lightly dabbing it. And what we're going to do is just sort of move that around. So you can see on this, I'm actually going to do a little bit of almost like a layer here. And let that be more pronounced. Okay, we'll move down to this. All, I'm going to bring these all back together and they're all going to look uniform over time. Um, just trying a couple, you know, showing a different, a couple different application methods at the moment. So here we, we just used a microfiber cloth. Here we used a sponge to blot. Again, with it, once we get through the technique on all these, we're, we're pretty much gonna do all a very similar technique. Um, and here you can see um, our maple. This is gonna be our maple really, really coming onto this. And you can see again, you're not painting the concrete, you're staining it. And what I like to do is then still immediately just come in with a, uh, a sponge, give that blot technique. Again, a lot of this is more art than science. Probably a little too much black to begin with here. Um, again, it, it'll seep in over time. 
That's what's nice about these. Um, they're relatively forgiving when it comes to adding more and and and, and taking it away. Um, easily can be cut with water. I'm using full strength here today. I'm not looking to dilute anything really. And so then you can see already it's starting to get that antique look. Um, the brown brushing out over the, the black pretty nicely. old mixture. Big fan of leather and maple together. Okay. So now what we're going to do is do what I very rarely like to do. That's gonna be a walk away from these. Right now I'm just gonna go ahead and just be just doing a little bit of spot um, with some of the, the leather and the maple mixture that I that I really like. Um, probably doing a couple you know dots with the sponge here. All right, so we're getting to where we want to be with these. They're, they're starting to get some darker colors. All starting to look relatively the same. Looking forward to keeping going. So when I do this with the brush, it will tend to, tend to give it like a, almost like a burnt look. Um, again, a lot of different techniques you can do with this. My good friend Steve Millard is a master. Um, this is a look that I like. Some people don't. Again, remember that the glazes are very forgiving. If you don't like it, you can you know pretty much just wipe it away and um, start over again. We are ready to seal. We're going to start by sealing these with the Buddy Rhodes Natural Look Penetrating, followed up with a coat of the Satin Concrete Sealer. Relatively easy application. What we're going to do is we're going to get some ready and we're going to apply them with a microfiber cloth. We'll start with these two up here on the operating table and then we'll move to the floor and do the rest. I like to go in a little bit of a circular motion. So if there would be any marks, you're really not going to see them. So again, this is the penetrating. We just really want to get a nice coat so it seeps in. Nothing major at all. I mean, again, this is a, a relatively simple project. Looking for something that's going to be bomb proof. You know, it's not going to be as strong as a sealer as maybe some of the other sealers that we offer. So it's really that simple. That's why I call it a simple sealer. It's going to offer simple protection. We'll continue with the rest. It is possible to apply this with the roller, a high density foam roller. I really like the ease of a microfiber cloth. Literally just dampening it, <clears throat> rinsing it, and wiping it. Um, <clears throat> buddy's done some videos before where we put this in a spray bottle. No problem putting it in a spray bottle. 
I am trying to get a, a decent coating on here. That is the penetrating sealer my buddy wrote. Very easy application. Took a microfiber cloth, wiped it on, allow that to penetrate, and then we'll follow that with the topical satin, uh, which is going to offer additional protection. So we'll go ahead and uh, let these babies sit here for a little bit before we jump to the next one. Absolutely. We are ready to go with the satin sealer stage today moving right along some of these look better than the others some are very antique looking but i am uh, quite happy with the outcome so far so we'll go ahead and start with our models here and we're just going to again take the unit shake it just a little bit agitate it the the material yesterday was more of a thinner almost clearish opaque and this is definitely more of a milky white substance so this is where you do not want to over apply this you will see streaks you will see markings so we're going to take a microfiber cloth dip it very lightly in here and we're just going to go ahead and allow nice thin coating to cover the tops and the sides in this case we're looking for you know, protective barrier in the elements, outside, sun, garbage. And this will definitely give it a little bit of a pop. This is a satin sealer. It's not a really high gloss sealer, but it'll definitely give it a little bit of pop. Um, so that's going to be coat one of that. Move over to the remainder of the pavers and go ahead and give these guys a nice thin coat as well. Here we are about an hour later, we're going to put on a second coat. All right, I am fully glazed. I have sealer on. I am ready to install and unfortunately I think I didn't count high enough when I was counting these, and I need more. So I've called on a couple local artisans to help me. The Donut Sisters! Hey, and hey. They are going to help me customize these two remaining pavers. And here we go. You ready, girls? Totally! How about you? You ready? Oh my goodness. All right, we've got our PPE on. We are going to add uh, some additional accents, accoutrements to these. Oh, look at Hazel's already got a nice technique. So what these are, these are glazes and stains. So they want to seep into the porosity of the concrete. It's not like painting, it's like staining. So you want it to seep in. Um, it, it's going to go into the concrete. And the more you put on, the darker it's going to get, but you don't put on it right away. So put a little bit of red, let it soak into the concrete, and then a little bit more. All right, kids? Yeah. All right, let's get ready. Hi, everyone. Hi. Let's make some stuff. <laughs> and let me tell you, you two are the cutest trainees I've ever had in any of my classes, <laughs> any of my trainings. What if you mix it with other colors? Um, that's a very good question. You may mix them with other colors. Um, it's going to be just like you'd expect when you were mixing like colors like um, yellow and blue are going to make green, which we already have green. Could um, we like put mixed colors in one? You could certainly do that. Everyone, we just had a little intermission, one hour exactly, and now we're coming back. And well, these are dry, so cute. now we're just gonna do our final touches. So you can watch us do that.
tough to get real fine detail with it, Faze, I'm telling you. I know. Still looks pretty good though. All right, we're back with our project. We have our pavers prepared, as in they are glazed and they are sealed. So we've got some sand. We'll go ahead and level this area. We'll place our pavers and we'll go from there. Check out the dribbability of it, please. And be star. And there you have it. Taking some old pavers, repurposing them with the Buddy Rhodes glazes, sealing them with the Buddy Rhodes penetrating and satin sealer. I'm going to say it's actually a little too nice to put my garbage cans on, but that was in fact the intended purpose. So, Buddy Rhodes glazes, Buddy Rhodes sealer, Ernie special antiquing, PKD and Hazel Jackson Pollock style, Buddy Rhodes concrete products. Mm -hmm.